What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles back at you with another video. And if you didn't guess it already, this video we're gonna talk about Brazilian rainbow boas. This guy right here that I'm holding is an adult male Brazilian rainbow boa. Now he is not the friendliest little guy, but he's not terrible either. He can be somewhat temperamental where he'll be here and he'll be fine and then all of a sudden he just says I'm done. So I'm gonna keep an eye on his face. We're gonna change him up throughout the video. I've been getting a lot of requests lately for Brazilian rainbow boa content and just Brazilian rainbow boa babies in general. Now I don't have any normal rainbow boas that I work with at the moment. This is as close as I get to a normal. All of mine that I'm working with are T positive, T negative, this guy is a het T positive albino. We'll take a look at some of those in a minute here. I also have some hypomelanistic, I have some anatheristic. I'm working with a couple of different morphs right now. I think these are really cool animals and I want to address some of the common questions that people give me related to the rainbow boa. So the first thing that I get very often is, hey, I really love a rainbow boa, but I think they're gonna to be too difficult to care for. And in some instances, that person may be correct. Everything is difficult to care care for if you don't do your research and you don't set these animals up properly. Now rainbow boas, they're pretty much just like every other boa constrictor or boa imperator species, except you need to keep them a little bit cooler. So rainbow boas, as they become older, they're very resilient. They turn into these awesome animals that you can have out for hours and they're really easy to care for. But when they're babies, they can be a little bit more sensitive to that stuff. They really need to be kept a little bit cooler. They need to be kept a little bit more humid. So when I'm talking about temperature ranges, I give these these guys are hot spot, no hotter than 86 as adults. As babies, I tend to keep them a little bit cooler. My adults may actually be up into 88, 90, sometimes in the summertime. They always have a cool area to retreat. As a baby, I keep these guys on ambient around 80 degrees or so. And they seem to do really well. Even their cool end a little bit. I say ambient, but there's always still some, some temperature differential in the rack, the way the rack insulates it. Their hot end is about 80 degrees. Their cool end is somewhere around 78 to maybe 76 depending on where they are located in the rack in terms of elevation from the ceiling to the floor. I use a nice cocoa husk bedding substrate. It keeps the humidity way up there. If you guys are using the glass tank, like an Ecoterra type of enclosure, you may need to modify the top a little bit to close off some of the screen, and that will help keep your humidity up. Humidity is a combination of airflow, temperature, and moisture within your cage. The bedding helps keep the moisture up. The airflow, if you block off some of the ventilation, that will help keep the airflow from drying the enclosure out. Heat elements will add the heat. The lack of airflow plus the heat and the water and the substrate will create a humid environment for your enclosures. Pretty simple. This was actually one of my second uh, snakes. Not this specific one, but my second snake was a rainbow boa. Let me change it up, show you guys some morphs. This girl here is a sub-adult or an adult female T-positive albino. Now the difference between a T-positive and a T-negative, we'll look at a T-negative in a minute, is the T-positive has these uh, normal-ish color eyes. They're still a little bit different, but they're not quite albino eyes. An albino is gonna have just straight red eyes. Now this girl is one of my breeders. She bred for me last year. She's gonna breed for me again this year. She is, they look, they give the impression of being smaller than they are because they're a more slender-bodied snake. They do climb, but they're also primarily terrestrial, so they don't necessarily need arboreal enclosures. I keep these just like every other one of my boas. I don't change a thing other than maybe making sure their temperature is a little bit cooler. For me, that means putting them on the bottom rack. She is maybe about five feet long or so. She's a really good size. Beautiful animal. She's much friendlier than the other one. She just had more handling time as she was growing. I had this girl younger. The other one I had as an older animal didn't necessarily have it. Although, as you saw, he was fantastic. So what I'd like to show off is he was an older adult male, I believe about 2016. So he's about seven or eight years old. She's a 2017. And she is uh, about the same age. She's, you know, as you can see, she's a really good size. And why I like these guys is they are smaller growing, easy to breed, easy to care for, and they give you some beautiful colors. A question that I get asked all the time is, do the T-positive albinos have iridescence? Short answer is yes, they do have iridescence. However, it's not to the same extent that you will see in the normal color rainbow boa. What happens, what makes the iridescence is the light reflecting off the scales and that dark background. So once you take that dark background away, they somewhat don't have that same amount of iridescence. You have to just think about them in a different way of there is the normal rainbow 
rainbow boa that has the iridescence and this is a T positive albino. It has a different look to it altogether. You need to kind of reprogram your brain that a rainbow boa doesn't need to be beautiful because of the iridescence. It's a beautiful animal as its own. Now the iridescence is pretty awesome and there's no way around that but this does still have a little bit of iridescence that is not going to get picked up on the camera but it does have a nice sheen to it and they're just beautiful animals. They're just one of my favorite color morphs that you can imagine. I want to show off a T negative and then maybe some babies just to show the size difference between the adults and the babies. So this girl here is a T negative albino and I don't want to bother her because she is pregnant and I really don't want to frustrate her and, and remove her from her heat source. Uh, you can see the difference in her eye color. Her eye color is red versus the T positive albino which is a little bit more blackish caramel brown type of color. This one completely lacks any color pigment compared to the T positive that we just looked at. Really again it's one of those things that people said oh it takes away the iridescence and I would agree with that. It does take the iridescence away. However you are need to look at these as this is a totally different color morph it it's uh it's unique in its own way so that is a t negative albino the next snake i want to show is this little baby so this is a 2023 baby she was born in october it is now february of 24 she was born october 23 she is a little het t positive albino baby now they can be somewhat nippy as babies which is somewhat of a con for them but they calm down to be amazing adults what they are as babies is a little bit more inquisitive and nervous. They're almost like the retic of the boa world. They're, they have a slender body, really kind of cool looking head, arrow dart shape, and they're just programmed to, to eat and function in a rainforest environment. They're just a really cool species that I love to work with. They're slowly becoming my favorite or one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites if you guys follow the channel. But as you can see, this girl is calm. She calms down quickly. And I want to show off a baby from last year just so I can show the difference between a 2023 and a 2022 and you'll see the color difference so a lot of the times these guys are born with a little bit lack of that saturation that you want in a rainbow boa but as they grow that saturation comes in really nicely another thing that you'll see come in nicely is a lot of them have these high white sides these sides will change with temperature and con and time of day so as this uh, as they kind of go throughout the day cycle they may be a completely red snake and then they will get those high white sides and this happens with the albinos and with the t positive of albinos so both forms of, alb of albinism is the albinos will raise up and their sides will turn almost all white with just the yellow top on their back the t positive albinos it will do the same thing except their slides turn more of a lavender color it's really cool let me show off a t positive baby so this little guy I have in my hand is a T positive baby. I'm gonna show him off to the camera rather than me. As you can see, as babies, they have this really cool lavender coloration. All of their purples and the, the colors that just come in are really nice. Now this guy is on high alert. Definitely doesn't want me poking around. He has a meal in him, so he's probably just like, leave me alone, I'm ready to digest. Really beautiful snake. I wanted to show her or him off. I didn't look at which, this is a this is a guy. So wanted to show him off. These guys all are available on the website or most of them. Uh, I'm not sure if this specific one is or if I'm holding them back. As you can see, they calm down quite nicely once you give them a little chance to, to settle in and get used to their environment. Really pretty snakes and I don't know if you can catch the side of that, but you can almost see what I was talking about where that color starts to change. They'll start to get this so this rise in their size that is really a unique look. Let me show a 2022 so you can see a one year size comparison. So this guy here is a 2022 and you can see a little bit bigger or much, a lot of bit bigger. It, it is deceiving because it's the length that they really start to gain until they get about three feet long. This girl is, uh, you know, she's starting to get that nice length to her. You can see those nice white sides that I was talking about. And uh, hopefully once I get my camera to focus in, there we go. So you can see those nice white sides. They have this porcelain white belly, which is really cool because it's just got complete patternless, really nice looking animal, really beautiful animals. Their head is just incredible. Let me see if I can get a good close up view of that head with without my camera going all crazy on us. That's just a beautiful looking snake. This was actually not a really cool looking baby, but her saturation has increased a, a significant amount. Maybe you can catch that iridescence on the camera. Maybe it's not picking it up, but it is that sheen off of that color scale that's actually off the darker background that's gonna be picking that up. So a really cool animal. Let me show you a 2021 so you can see what the size difference is between a baby that we just looked at 2023, a 2022, and a 2021. You can see they really will hit this growth 
growth spurt. This guy here is a 2021 and you can see there is a pretty good size difference. He is probably about three and a half to four feet long and he will be breedable in this upcoming season. The females are about the same size. They're a little bit bigger, but overall really about the same size. They will start to take on a little bit more size as they grow. Again, really easy to breed, really growing to a nice size and awesome pet snakes if you're looking for them. So that's the video guys. I appreciate you all checking in and watching. This is the last female that I'm gonna show off. She is my 2017 Carmel albino female. Really beautiful animal. If you're interested in any of animals, whether they be rainbow boas or others, check out my website, jasonsexoticreptiles.com. If you're looking to get into a community of reptile keepers and lovers, make sure to check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash jasonsexoticreptiles.com. Make sure to hit a like, subscribe, and comment down below. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel.